You're listening to Electrify Mojo Rare Moments. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. When they say we have a vaccine, that's when it is over. That's when it is over. That's when it is over. Do not ever leave home without your mask. Do not ever cook food for you or anyone else without your mask. Do not serve food without your mask. Do not talk to anyone without your mask. And that's six feet away. The six foot distancing from another person is not a substitute for wearing your mask. It's plus wearing your mask. What are the consequences of not staying six feet apart. It could be a decision to stay six feet apart or being six feet under. The safest place for you is at home. If you must leave home, keep a six foot distance from whomever you encounter. Wash your hands constantly. Do not touch your face. Wear disposable gloves wherever you go. Dispose of those gloves once you're back in your safe location. Good friends keep good friends six feet away so they can live to see another day. That is the new meaning of friendship. The telephone is the new handshake and the new hug. I give six foot fist pumps for days. Six feet away. That's when it is over. 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 When they say we have a vaccine. That's when it is over. You're listening to Electrify Mojo Rare Moments. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button.
plan to sit here in my chair. I plan to sit here in my four-cornered room. And I plan to render myself a vessel so that his spirit could flow through me. And yes, there will be times when I will talk. And at all times, I shall listen also.
生气。一、二、三、四
You're listening to Electrify Mojo Rare Moments. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. When they say we have a vaccine, that's when it is over. That's when it is over. That's when it is over. Do not ever leave home without your mask. Do not ever cook food for you or anyone else without your mask. Do not serve food without your mask. Do not talk to anyone without your mask. And that's six feet away. The six foot distancing from another person is not a substitute for wearing your mask. It's plus wearing your mask. What are the consequences of not staying six feet apart? It could be a decision to stay six feet apart or being six feet under. The safest place for you is at home. If you must leave home, keep a six foot distance from whomever you encounter. Wash your hands constantly. Do not touch your face. Wear disposable gloves wherever you go. Dispose of those gloves once you're back in your safe location. Good friends keep good friends six feet away so they can live to see another day. That is the new meaning of friendship. The telephone is the new handshake and the new hug. I give six foot fist pumps for days. Six feet away. That's when it is over. 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 You're listening to Electrify Mojo Rare Moments. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you like this video, hit the like button. The Electrify Mojo is now heading back to his ship. His ship is ready to depart now. If you listen carefully, you can hear the noise in the distance. The mothership is returning to take me away. And I must embark. It has been wonderful, it has been beautiful, it has been exhilarating, it has been real. Now I must board my ship for another journey through time and space. Hold on tight, don't let go. Whenever you feel like you're nearing the end of your rope, don't slide off, tie a knot, keep hanging, keep remembering that it ain't nobody bad like you. If the journey of a thousand miles is to begin, it must begin with that first step. I have miles to go before I sleep. This is Electrify Mojo. I have prepared my ship for takeoff. And now we are ready for hyperspace. Commence hyperspace. The great prophet once said, Love knows not its own depth under the hour of separation. I met an African lady the other day. She came from an African country. She spoke an African language. She came from an African culture. She had African customs. And she loved only African food. 
she had just become an American citizen. And she said, now, I'm a, a real African American. And I thought to myself, well, where does that leave me? Did eating at the Blue Nile once a month satisfy it? Or did an African name alone satisfy it? Owning a Kente cloth? Did observing all of the days of Kwanzaa satisfy it? Learning a little bit of Swahili or making a trip to the Gold Coast. Then I asked myself, where on the continent of Africa could I go and escape being called an American? Because of my cultural characteristics and where in the world would I want to go and escape being called an African? Because of the blood of my Asian ancestors. I conducted my own chronological investigation and applied my own analytical concepts to the subject. And it dawned on me that when the slaves were brought to America for as long as they maintained the languages of the homeland, for as long as they maintained the traditions of the homeland, in mind, in body, and in spirit. They were Africans in America, culturally, ethnically, biologically, Africans, geographically, Americans. Their descendants would become Americans, culturally, Americans, ancestrally, biologically, to a great percentage. Many would remain Africans. An American African. Another page from a book called The Mental Machine. Biological Derivatives from an African Shore. Behind the mist of time, come let your mind soar. Captives from African nations, the great slave ships bore. Men, women, boys, and girls ripped from the soul of Africa's interior. The slave ships bearing Africans throughout the Americas docked, dropping human cargo from the South Atlantic up to Plymouth Rock. Africans come into America with their customs and languages mentally locked would then give birth to the American Euro-African paradox. Some 400 years later, the years of cultural deprivation have taken their toll from the slave yards to the graveyards to the California sands, from the cotton fields to the killing fields, from the factories to the streets, up here stranded in the north, south, east, and west are millions of American Africans. An American African. Another page from a book called The Mental Machine. I don't know. Another page from a book called The Mental Machine. The next time you find yourself in a quagmire, for whatever reason, maybe you got fired, maybe you didn't get the promotion, maybe you had a car accident, maybe you got bad news on the telephone, maybe you got turned down for a new car loan or a house. The worst thing you can do is sit there and succumb to pressure. I don't know another page from the mental machine. I don't know what I'm going to do now, but I know that I'm not going to just sit here. I don't know what I'm going to discover by getting out, but I do know that only gridlock comes from fear. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I will meet each new challenge with courage every day. 
I'm not going to go down without a fight. No, not without a fight. Rumors of my doom are hearsay. It's true. There is no sunshine in my world today. I guess it's just my week for the rain to fall. But to the seeds buried beneath the earth, a raindrop is love and a promise of the sun. Mother Nature's wake-up call. I don't know. Another page from a book called The Mental Machine. You probably heard the expression, dreams are the wings of the mind. I found that it's not just an expression. It's actually true, because unless you are able to dream, it's impossible for the man to fly. It's impossible for the man to stay alive unless you dream. Without a dream, you're just an empty shell waiting to be cracked. A mushroom waiting to be crushed. A puddle of water on a hot day waiting to evaporate. Without a dream, don't expect to be here long. If you want to live, if you want to stay alive, if you want to prosper, not just survive, you must dream great dreams. Dreams are the wings of the mind, and it's flight time. Will you just dream today? Another page from a book called The Mental Machine. The great ones who got us dreaming may not be the victors at all. The victors are the people who just believed and dreamed. The small who then stood tall. The great ones who dared us to dream, though gone, are not far away. They just look down from the sky and cry and ask, will you just dream today? We must become our brother's keeper just to keep our dreams alive. We must dream of a world without stupid people. Ignorance must not survive. We must dream of a world without guns and war. The tools of fools must go. We must recreate our schools and universities, not sales and jails and death row. The great ones who got us dreaming are not that far away. They just look down from the sky and cry and beg. Will you just dream today? Will you just dream today? Another page from a book called The Mental Machine. the nations of the world, on the night sky, the great canvas of time, with words, music, and moods, I paint, wisdom, beauty, and truth, need never to experience restraint, our actions must not represent the darkness of the past, they must fulfill the demands of the present, the hopes of the future and the dreams of mankind. We must not seek to be only awesome in spirit. We must recapture the glow of angels and steady war no more. <laughs> <laughs>